Well, there's no doubt conditions have been extremely tough in the mining sector over the past year, and particularly that's for our junior miners. Um, according to Grant Thornton's latest uh, report, 74% of junior miners are expecting to have to raise capital this financial year. But there is within this report a glimmer of hope for the industry. Investor interest is starting to return to the sector. And for more, we're joined by Holly Stiles of Grant Thornton. Holly, great to have you on the program. Thanks. Thank Let's just understand where we are at currently. What have you uncovered about the conditions for the junior miners at the moment? Yeah, um, so look, last year was an extremely tough year for junior miners. Um, it, it, the 2013 financial year was pretty bad, but, but 2014 was a lot worse in a number of ways. So 79% of companies that um, undertook a capital raising um, in that um, 2014 financial year experienced moderate or significant challenges in doing so, which is a really high um, percentage of companies. Um, and the number of companies um, in the junior mining sector that are running low cash balances is increasing. So we now have 50% of, um, of those companies that are uh, holding less than uh, $2 million in cash, right. which is increasing year on year. And quite worryingly now, um, there's 18% of companies which are holding a cash balance of under 500000 mm -hmm. So at that sort of level, without supportive shareholders, um, companies' options um, can be quite limited. Mm. Um, also, we're seeing that um, in our, our survey respondents, 44% uh, of companies um, have a, um, a major strategy for this financial year around minimising costs, which is quite a high percentage of companies that, you know, that's their focus um, for this year um, and a bit worrying for shareholders who, who are quite um, keen, obviously, to see a return on their investment now. Yeah, and a lot of these companies still looking to come with you know, the cap out saying we kind of need more funds as well. That's right, you know, yeah. Very high percentage context. of companies that are going to need to um, raise capital sure. in the next financial year. And so what is your, what are the kinds of companies your, your report's actually capturing? Who are we talking about here? So we're talking about the junior mining sector. So we look at ASX listed mining companies with a market capitalisation of up to 500 million. Um, so those companies, um, there's actually about 750 companies in that pool, which is about 35% of all companies on the ASX. So it is a very big portion um, of the market by number of companies. So this, I mean, it's, it's not a great picture, really, when you say where we're currently at. Yep. There is um, a, a, an indication in your report that maybe we've seen the bottom. So tell us what those indications are, because there is starting to get a bit more interest, I guess, in this space at the moment. So what would suggest things have been, been through the worst, basically? Yeah. So, look, um, I think um, any sort of recovery is going to be going to be slow and, um, and probably a bit erratic as well. But we're starting to see some positive signs. So um, coming out in the survey, um, two thirds of, um, of um, the mining executives that we surveyed um, felt that um, the investor interest has already started to pick up or they expect to see that within this current financial year. So that's, that's a really basis, encouraging though? sign. Um, Hope springs eternal maybe <laughs> or what? Um, well, I think um, junior mining, uh, mining executives are always got to be pretty optimistic. Um, just the nature of what they do going, going um, you know, out there exploring. Um, but um, we're, we're seeing signs that, um, that companies um, uh, where they put out some good news, the share price is starting to move in a positive way, which is, is a really great, great um, thing. It might sound a bit obvious, but um, in the last year, often um, good news has been a trigger for selling opportunities. Um, so it's actually driven... And bad news, down. the trigger for people to say, well, there'll be more to come yeah. as well. Yeah. So, um, so prices have just been tumbling over, over the last year, but we've started to see some, some positive movements on, on good news, um, which is a good thing. Um, we're also seeing that 72% of the mining executives are anticipating um, an increase in the commodity price of their core commodity, okay. which is um, a lot more op optimistic than where we were last year. Okay. Um, yeah. And also an, an uh, anticipation that when you're seeing capital raisings, the, the valuations are going to be looking better. Yeah. That's an um, interesting one. Yeah, so I, I think... Um, Companies have, have had to heavily discount when they've been going out raising capital. The competition for capital has been extremely tough. As we, we said, there's 750 companies in this sector. There's a lot of companies out there that are reliant on regular mm. equity injections. So the competition for capital is pretty high. Um, and, um, and with investor conditions recently, uh, pricing has had to be very, very 
um, sharp mm. um, in order to attract um, new investment. But but the percentage they're expecting to have to heavily discount their next raising it is falling. Which are is you able good. Are you able to break down the, the the sector that we're looking at and say, well, who is best placed and who's looking like they're going to most take advantage of this this potential uptick that yeah. the, the actual industry is expecting? Sure. So I think it's going to be the companies with the better projects that um, are going to be more attractive in a better place. So the companies whose projects are a little bit more advanced um, and also the companies who've managed to differentiate themselves a little bit. Um, uh, obviously the com competition for capital is tough so you need to be able to differentiate yourself. Um, you need to be able to show shareholders that you can add value in a cost-effective cost way to your projects. Um, so find, um, try find ways to be innovative in, in how you might um, go around um, driving the, the capital costs for your projects down, for example. Yeah, in what, kind, in what kinds of ways? I mean, well, we've, we've seen a client that? recently undertake um, acquisitions um, of projects at very um, low cost relatively that have brought down the capital costs of their projects. So that, that might be one, one thing that, that companies can do. Um, and look at alternative um, fundraising strategies. Um, and, um, and, and just, just see whatever tweaks that you can make to your um, project from a technical perspective that, that might drive those costs down and, and, and do that in the most cost effective way. Holly, great to have you on the show today. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. From uh, Grant Thornton there, we have a quick